Welcome back guys. This is question 39 and here we have to write the standard product term. Okay, so this is the standard product term for each cell in a three variable cone of map. Okay, so in question 37, we have solved and draw a cone of map for the three variables. Now, what do we have to do? We have to uh, write the standard product forms for all the values which are mentioned here. Okay, so in order to do so, what we have to do, let me draw another map here. So let me draw another map for the three variables because we are asked to find the values for the three variables. Okay. So here again we have, let me use the same color that is C and here we have A, B. Okay. So what values can we have? These are also 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0 and here I can have, okay, this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0 and here I will have 0 and 1. Okay. So, on the basis of these what I will have to do, I have to write the corresponding standard terms for each of the values. Okay. So, what do we have to do? Uh, I have to write the values such that the product of them will be 1. Okay. So, in order to do so, uh, here we have 0, 0, 0. So, it means that all a b here a b and c these are these three are zeros so here the product will be zero as well if any one of the three is zero so what do we have to do we have to complement them all in order to get the product equal to one in the standard form uh, so what do we have to do i have to write here a complement dot b complement dot c complement so that all of these zeros will be complemented and i will get one and the product of them will be one because this is the condition for the standard product terms okay uh, in the second cell here i can see that the first two terms are here zeros while the last one which is c is uh, already one so what do we have to do i have to complement the first two terms so therefore the complemented terms will be a and b and the last term will remain the same because this is already one okay here in this column uh, I can see that this is the first column and second row. The first and the last entries are zeros while the middle one is already one. So therefore, this will, the first entry will be complemented. Second entry will remain the same while the third one will also be complemented. Okay. Here in this, uh, the first is zero. So the first will be complemented while the other twos will remain the same. Here the last will be complemented. So A, B, C complement here. Uh, we can see that all the terms here are ones. So, therefore, no entry will be complemented and therefore, I will get A, B, C. Okay. Here, the last two entries will be complemented. So, I will get A, B complement, C complement and here the middle one is zero. So, therefore, A, B complement, C. Okay. So, what is this? Uh, these are all the standard. These are all the standard product terms for a three variable Karnoff map. Okay. Uh, so, here we have found out the way of finding the variables for a three variable Karnoff map and I will show you that how to find the same for the four variable Karnoff map as well. So, here the procedure remains the same as I have to find out the product with gives me the product equal to 1. Okay, uh, So, that is it for today in which uh, I have solved question 39 here. So, this is the solution of the 39 question and I will solve more questions in our upcoming video. Till then take care of yourself and I will see you soon.